Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to share with you how to make this rainbow ribbon cane. You can see it's flat, thus the name ribbon. <laughs> and then I'm going to share with you how to use your ribbon cane to make these really cool little rainbow swirl beads. So let's get started. Our colors for today are the rainbow. <laughs> I have all commercial stringers of a fetre red, a fetre orange, a fetre yellow, some grass green, a fetre turquoise, and a fetre purple. And we are going to make this ribbon cane on a rod of a fetre super clear. You're also going to need a pair of tweezers or pliers uh, to pull your cane with. And that is pretty much it. Here we go. We're off. Um, I have just my clear and I am melting it into a gather. Probably a little bigger than a pea. A edamame size? I don't know. What come, what's bigger than a pea? There we go. <laughs> All right, I've got a nice little blob on the end of it. I forgot to tell you, you're going to need some mashers for this class too. Because we are going to take that P, that big P, and we're going to mash it into a paddle. And then I'm going to just square up the sides of the paddle here to make it kind of into a square. For this bead, I like it to be kind of squarish. Everything's squared off, squared up. So, and if you mess up your paddle like I just did mine, just go in, heat it up, remash it. Start over. It's okay. It's not a mistake. It's a do over. And as we all know, do overs are not mistakes, right? Unless you screw it up a second time, and then it's a real screw up. Okay, I'm even going to square up the top a little bit here. I don't know why I'm having such issues making a square paddle today, but I am. All right, once I get the sides all squared up, I'm going to give it one more little mash. And there you go. That is your square paddle. Now, we're going to start laying down our stringers. And for some reason, I always have to start with red. Otherwise, I forget the sequence of colors in the rainbow. So <laughs> I have my red stringer and I'm just going to lay down a stripe right at the edge there of my square paddle. And then just pull it off at the tippy tip. Now we're going to go in with orange because that's what comes next is orange. And it's going to go down right next to the red like so then yellow come on yellow heat up little guy next to the orange yay and then my green and here we go green And then here we go with my turquoise blue. Now I did try light blue with this, the sky blue, but it just, it didn't show up very well. Okay. And then finally, I barely have enough room to put the purple. So let's put the purple down. I am a six color rainbow kind of girl instead of a five color rainbow kind of girl. But you guys do whatever feels good. And if you do have, like, your purple didn't quite fit, you can take your clear, I got a skinny rod of clear, and just kind of go in there underneath it and just add some more clear. Not a big deal. All right, I'm going to melt that down and just give it a gentle little smush, kind of to even everything out. Don't smush it super flat and don't melt it all the way in, but just give it kind of a smush so that all the top edges are all equal. 
All right, back to our clear, and I'm just going to put a layer of clear on top of that color. Just kind of encase it a bit. I think it helps protect the colors from all running together when we start to pull. So, here we go. And I start out, I just make a square, and I'm just blobbing on the clear. And I do go around those edges because I kind of want a clear border before my color starts. So I do add a little bit of clear on the edge of that red and on the edge of the purple. And then I just fill in. Fill in your square with clear and make sure everything is coated with clear because you don't want any of that color like leaking up through the top. And it's okay if some of it blobs up and some of it doesn't. That's all right because we are going to heat it up right now and smash it down a bit. And again, just want to make sure that the ribbon part is all even, even thickness. So smashing helps. And just play with it till you feel like it's right. And if you want, you can square up the ends a little bit. I usually do. And the reason I do is because, where are my tweezers? I use these tweezers that are kind of have an uh, angle on them. And when I grab this ribbon cane, I'm going to grab the entire length of the cane. Instead of just a tippy tip, I grab the whole length because I want it to pull out even. I don't want like the centers to pull out different than the sides. All right, I'm heating that cane up front and back and it's coming off my mandrel, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that end lengthwise and I'm gonna give it a nice straight pull. And I do pull kind of slow because I don't want it to be too thin. And you don't get much out of this. So there you go. That's about the length of the ribbon that I get. Now, you can, of course, play around with bigger paddles, a bigger platform. Um, whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'm starting out <laughs> kind of little. But I do like making two pulls out of this. So I will heat up that blob on the end, like so, and then go in for a second pull. And this one, of course, is not going to be as pretty or as long. But you can still get some decent ribbon cane out of it. Okay, and that's it, you guys. That's how you make your straight rainbow ribbon cane. Okay, let's make this swirly bead. Uh, I just started out with a little white barrel here. And I am going to take my ribbon cane. And the other day I was playing with cane. I was like, you know what? Why is it we always put cane down like around the circumference and not horizontally along the length? So I'm going to make some stripes horizontally along the length because why not? And I'm just leaving a little teeny tiny bit of white in between each stripe. Uh, don't know why, just happens like that. <laughs> so you guys can space out your stripes or not, depending on what you feel like doing. All right, just laying down those stripes of rainbow. I love the rainbow because it's like no pressure. Sometimes I feel like, oh, I get so lost in my mind trying to pick out colors. Oh, what colors go together? What should I do? And then it's like, you know what? I'm just going to use all of them. It's easier. So rainbows it is. Use all those colors, guys. All right, the stripes are still going down. 
Now, a lot of times with these canes, and actually with all of my canes, I do stick them in the kiln overnight, especially the thick canes, because otherwise they just seem like they break and they crack. Okay, there we go. I'm just heating these up a little bit. Kind of going to marver the edges down here a little bit. Flatten them out. Make it look pretty. Make it look pretty without you losing the texture because, you know, the bumpy parts are cool. All right, here we go. Now I have um, a clear stringer, and I'm just going to pick a spot, and in between each of those um, stripes, I'm just going to do my swirl. So go in with your clear, swirl it around, <laughs> blow on it. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> blow on it, <laughs> wiggle it around until it breaks off. And then go to the next stripe. And I go like up and down and up and down, kind of in a zigzag pattern. And I go in between the stripes, give it a little swirl. Give it a little blow, wiggle it around, and it'll eventually snap off. I think the bigger stringer that you use, the longer it takes for it to snap off, but it will. Be patient. Pop. And we're just going around. I think the kids are going to like this swirl. There we go. And it just looks cool. It looks like a little rainbow vortex in your bead. Maybe that's what I should call it. The rainbow vortex. The rainbow swirly. And for some reason, I never come out even and I always end up with a swirl that I have to put in the middle. But that's okay, because we're artists, and we have creative license. And no one's going to know, because I planned it like that. And there you go, you guys. That is your rainbow swirl with your rainbow ribbon cane. Have a great day, everyone. I'll be back soon. Have a great weekend. See ya.